500 yards with the 556 Henry Long Ranger. Anticipating a calm day, we went out for some long distance shooting with the 556 Henry Long Ranger. Be sure to check out the Am Gun Review for details on this Henry rifle. Link in the description. I was shooting 150, 300, and 500 yards with local ammo manufacturer 307 ammunition using their 75 grain hollow point bow tail. By the time we got the target set up, the wind built up to a bit more than our drone pilot likes with the quadcopter getting especially rowdy during the 150 yard and 300 yard sessions, with the drone getting in the path of the trajectory and frequently moving off station. The 150 yard and 300 yard group, despite the disruption, were within about 4 minutes of angle, about what I expect when shooting from field positions. And I only shoot from field position since I'm interested in how well a rifle and I perform together rather than how it performs alone secured to a bench. At 500 yards, we were able to get the drone steady and I was able to really focus on the job at hand. Sling smooth across the back of my hand, high in my armpit, and snug. Firm handshake grip pulling buttstock into shoulder pocket. Exaggerated C-shaped trigger finger, turkey neck, cheek weld. The Henry put five shots into five inches. I was stunned. Granted, I did my job fairly well, no dragging wood, no dancing off the trigger, good respiratory pause, sunk into my sling for support, striving to maintain my natural point of aim, and focusing on keeping my crosshairs consistently in the same spot high on the target. Squeeze the trigger and follow through, holding the trigger back. The steadiness evidenced by the dry fire shot at the end. Still, given the wind, a 4x scope, I have to think it was also a lucky group. But the Henry Long Ranger's performance is certainly not inconsistent with the Henry's perfect prone AQT score that I achieved when doing our full review of the rifle. As I noted in that review, I was shooting stage 4 of the AQT, slow fire prone. I started left-handed and scored a 95, my highest score ever on that stage, until I scored a 100 shooting right-handed. I do plan to head out again to repeat the performance, but I'll be ecstatic if I can repeat with a 10-inch group at 500 yards. I'll post and pin a comment below when I do the follow-up. Besides trying to recreate the 5 and 5 miracle, I also will do some testing to verify trajectory from 100 to 500 yards. According to the calculated trajectory, from 75 to 150 yards, I should be able to hold under using the top of the pigplex reticle circle on my loophole VX Freedom optic, and I'll be able to center the crosshairs for the 0 at 20 and 340 yards and then use the bottom of the peak plaque circle for 500 yards. The Henry Long Ranger, an accurate rifle? Yes, after being properly set up. Optic mounted far enough forward for consistent turkey neck cheek weld. Cheek riser paired with low rings for a good cheek weld and side alignment. Canvas GI sling as a shooter's aid. A very handsome, accurate, and a very American rifle, the Henry Long Ranger.